you know, first of all, you know, give, give Clemson credit. It's a good football team. Trevor Lawrence, uh, ETM, or, you know, they are what they are. Great football players. Um, you know, we gave them some short fields early, for sure, you know, with four interceptions. And um, that's kind of been a tale against really good football teams. We've turned the ball over and, and not really given ourselves a chance. We started slow. Um, but again, give, give Clemson, you know, credit. Uh, probably overwhelmed our offensive line a little bit with having three starters out again today. And, um, you know, we just, uh, you know, didn't, didn't get things done. So, um, again, I give them credit. Our kids continue to play. They fought hard. It uh, just wasn't enough. Too hard to make up. You ain't going to, you know, number three team in the country. You turn it over four times, you have no shot. Questions? Pat, do you think uh, Kenny was pressing a little early there once you guys kind of got down? I, mean, I know that third pick wasn't really on him. It was a drop. But uh, do you feel like he was pressing through that early part of the game? Maybe, maybe, you know, we'll have to go watch the tape to see, see, see that for sure. But, uh, you know, uh, two of his picks were, you know, first one was a tip at the line of scrimmage. And then, you know, we had one on the sideline where the receiver, you know, didn't catch it, tips it right to him and gives him another short field. So, um, you know, um, again, one was tipped at the line of scrimmage. They did a nice job of getting their hands up, I guess, and batting some balls down and putting pressure on, on our quarterback. He, he was under stress all day, I think. Um, Pat, down, you know, 31 nothing there. You, you decided to kick a field goal at Clemson's five. I mean, was that just to ensure that you guys didn't get shut out? What was the thinking there into that decision? No, I mean, you're, you're going to take points when you have an opportunity to take points. Um, you know, I mean, everything statistically says take a field goal. It's not a matter of, you know, I, I thought we'd score again in the day. I'm not worried about just kicking a field goal not to get shut out. Not even close. I think that was in the second quarter, you know, no. Pat, you guys came out in the second half, got a turnover and a quick score, and your defense was able to, you know, keep fighting through that. Uh, what was what was going on on the sidelines, you know, with you got with the fight that you guys were able to put up in that situation? Yeah, Chris, you know, our kids played hard. I mean, I, you know, can't you know question their effort at all. They played hard. We didn't make enough plays. I mean, we dropped balls. We, you know, we missed a lot of tackles on defense early. Um, you know, they came out with a reverse, and, you know, we had a blitz on, and I think one of our linebackers came through and just didn't make the tackle. We didn't tackle well. Um, you know, we gave them a lot of plays there, but, uh, you know, our kids, like I said, they came out of half and, and, uh, made some plays. We had a lot of three outs in the second half defensively. Um, but you know, you, you, you know, you're down against a good football team. It's hard to come back. At the rushing game today, was that a, a, a just a, a, was it a factor that you guys didn't have, you were missing offensive line? You know, I, I'm not going to use that as an excuse. Period. You know, we rushed the ball a little bit, but again, it's a it's a you know good front four. They you got a great blitz package, and and um, it's hard to get a lot of a lot of game going. You know, our, our game is to throw the ball, Pete, and and um, you know, and then you know try to you know set up the run with our pass, and um, you know you, you get so far behind, you know you don't even have an opportunity to get some of your good runs in there. You're trying to play catch up. Pat Rashad Weaver with a couple of sacks today, including the strip sack in the third quarter. To give you guys a short field, what can you kind of say about his day, um, you know, in the way that he uh, got after Lawrence? Yeah, I mean, you know, Rashad Weaver, you know, Patrick Jones, those guys play hard every day. You know, I don't question uh, what they did. But, you know, Rashad Weaver's a good football player, uh, going to play at the next level. And uh, he'll be playing on Sundays, um, you know, getting sacks in the league as well. So he's a good football player. And, um, you know, we just didn't make enough of him. Uh, this is um... – the second game you played against one of these uh, top-ranked teams, you have the Notre Dame game and this Clemson game. How much do you look at those games as, I don't know if you want to call it a measuring stick or a sign, an indication of kind of where you are and where the program is, maybe in relation to some of those teams at the top? I mean, it definitely is, uh, Chris, a you know, measuring stick. And, you know, you could add Miami to that one as well because they're in the top 15 at least, I think. Uh, three really good football teams, ACC strong and, and, um, you know, it tells you where you are and what you got to do to get back, you know, where you need to be. So, uh, which is getting to that ACC championship game. But some good football teams. And, you know, again, we just, you know, it was more about what we did. You know, again, they're a good football team. But, you know, we didn't make plays today, you know, on either side of the ball. Our best play was, you know, was uh, Chris DeVille and his punt. We didn't have enough of those either. Pat, do you feel like from a talent standpoint you're there, it is just those turnovers and execution in these matchups? No, I would not say that. I would not say where, where we need to be talent-wise. When you look at, you know, um, what Clemson is, is recruiting and Notre Dame is recruiting some of those, you know, schools, 
um, we just got to continue to uh, recruit. That's kind of where we are right now, and uh, we get what we get, and we try to develop them as a, as a football staff. And, and uh, again, I love our kids. I still take our kids any day because uh, they're going to fight, and, and uh, everybody's got a different talent level. Um, you know, obviously Clemson's got elite talent. Pat, you uh, have played uh, two, two Clemson teams won national championships. How would you compare this one to those two? You know, let me just, you know, um, <laughs> they're good. I mean, they're going to be in the playoffs. Um, I wouldn't be shocked if they get to the final two. They're good. You know, to, I mean, those other ones are good, too. I mean, I, I tell you, with Trevor Lawrence and that, that cannon arm he's got, that one throw, I'd have never seen anybody throw a ball as far as he threw it. I don't know how long that ball was in the air, but uh, that was one he heck of a throw uh, in, the, in the third quarter when he, he – I mean, I've never seen a guy throw the ball that far.